welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just wanted to do a really quick little intro for this video. This video was when I went to Colorado a few weeks ago. No, longer than that, like maybe three, four weeks ago. I was with my family and it was kind of like a vacation holiday thing. It was a trip, you know? So I kind of wanted to film what I eat in a day or a, a what I eat in a week while in Colorado and, and kind of give you like a little bit more of a realistic glimpse because while I was there, like my family is really into like having a beer or a glass of wine with dinner every single night. So I definitely drank like every single day. <laughs> and then also just like we all would have dinners together. So it was just, I feel like this video is gonna be a lot different than like a typical what I eat in a week or a typical what I eat in a day. Also, I've been putting off uploading this video forever now because I'm terrified, but you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna do it anyways, and I just wanna be transparent with you guys. I'm not gonna say anything else, you'll probably understand like halfway through this video, so, or you probably already figured that out from the thumbnail, but I don't wanna um, address the elephant in the room because I don't wanna draw attention to it. Anyways, I hope you enjoy, let's get into the video. So Saturday we went for a really long hike and I was starving so we stopped at the store to get a cliff bar and I also got a chocolate milk so that was kind of like I guess my breakfast and then when we got home I just kind of snacked on these little caramel snacks which were amazing and then we made some vegan fish tacos for lunch which were super good I used the Gardein fried fish fillets and added like guac coleslaw lime cilantro and salsa and then I had two of these beers and also a mezcal cocktail that James whipped up and then for dinner everyone was having burgers so I got this impossible ground beef and I made patties with some seasoning and then also added some dia cheese on top and my dad cooked the patties along with portobello mushrooms in his smoker so these are not amazing my mom also made some roasted potatoes and then we put the portobello burger patty in the burgers they were so good for dessert we had a brownie with some ice cream we pretty much had some type of like combination of this pretty much every single night because dessert is life so Sunday, I started out with some coffee and some creamer. I had coffee like every single morning while I was here. Then I had a bagel with smashed avo, vegan cheese, and an egg from one of my brother's backyard chickens. Um, and it was really good. Then we went to the river and I had a cliff bar as a snack. Then for lunch, we went to this Mexican restaurant and we got chips and guac uh, to start. And also, I think I had some sort of like margarita. And then I ordered the only vegan thing that was on the menu, which were these portobello mushroom tacos. And they were super good. It had like salsa and avocado on top. And they were amazing. And then for dinner that night, my mom made some spaghetti. And we had spaghetti with some bread and a side of salad and some olive oil and balsamic vinegar. And of course, I ended the day with another brownie. Monday, I started off with just some black coffee, and then I had one of my vegan yogurt granola fruit bowls, which I've mentioned before, like one of my favorite breakfasts. So just had some berries on there. And then I also had a bagel with vegan cream cheese and a glass of orange juice as I guess like my lunch or kind of like second breakfast. I don't really remember. And then James and I snacked on some chips and guac. And I also got these rowdy uh, mermaid kombuchas that I had never tried before. So we had one of those each and they were really good. And then for dinner, we had pulled pork sandwiches, but I made pulled jackfruit burgers so they were vegan and we had some vegan potato salad and coleslaw on the side and then I made my vegan peach cobbler I will link the recipe in the description Tuesday more coffee then I had a poached egg from my brother's backyard chickens again on toast vegan sausage patties and some sauteed mushrooms and then I followed that with a glass of OJ and I had another cliff bar by the river and a uh, beer as well. I don't know what happened to the footage, but we made tacos So I used the impossible meat and I made some vegan tacos and a margarita and then of course another brownie dessert <laughs> Wednesday I had another yogurt bowl for breakfast and then I had a vegan egg scramble some sauteed spinach and 
avo toast with a little bit of like i guess sriracha or ketchup or something on top and i also had a glass of orange juice with this as well i was snacking on some crackers and then i also snacked on a little bit of leftover vegan potato salad and for dinner we ended up getting thai takeout so we got some fresh rolls and then we got vegan masmon curry and we also shared a vegan pad thai so that was super good i love thai food so much <laughs> Thursday, I started the day off with a plum, and then James made us some vegan breakfast burritos. I kind of forget what was in there, like breakfast patties, vegan egg, tomato, cheese, avocado, something like that. Then I blacked out this day. I drank way too many margaritas, so all I had for dinner was some rice and some broccoli, and I don't remember filming this. <laughs> Friday, I had a bagel with vegan cream cheese on the road because we were going on a little adventure that day. We stopped at this cafe and got their vegan breakfast burrito, which was more like a breakfast panini, but it was really good. It had tons of like random vegetables in it, and we also got a little iced coffee with a view. For dinner, James and I went to this brewery restaurant, and I got the veggie burger with chips and or fries, whatever, and um, a beer. And these burgers were amazing. They're so, so good. And then we ended up having a vegan mug cake which I'll try to find the recipe and link it down below for dessert. Okay, so that is everything that I ate and drank uh, in a week in Colorado with my family. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't attack me in the comments and I will see you all in the next one.